Oh my God, I cannot wait to talk to you guys. First of all, we have a new app. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. We have a new social media app. And I must say that it's a pretty good one. So I'm gonna talk about it today because I know if you're on any social media, you're already hearing about it and you got questions like I had questions and I'm gonna try to answer them for you in this video. Okay, so what the heck is Thread? What, what is Thread? Why is everybody talking about this Thread? What is going on on these social media streets? So apparently, Meta has created a new social media app that is technically in competition with Twitter. And so Thread, the easiest way to explain what Thread is, is it's like Meta's version of Twitter. I know Meta be biting off of everybody and they be trying to take people out by the jugular, but they might've won this battle. They might've won this one, okay? They, they might've they, they might took it on this one. Thread is so amazing. Like I am so excited about Thread. If you can't tell by all of this energy that I am just giving you guys right now, I love Thread and I wanna talk about it. I wanna tell you about whether you should join it. What are my initial thoughts? Give you some key reasons as to why I believe Thread is really bringing it home with people being interested in being a part of this platform. I wanna tell you about some things that you should know before you join, just so that you can make a decision in reference to if this is gonna be good for you and your business, or if it's gonna be good for you as a content creator. So now that you know what Thread is, I wanna quickly tell you about some key benefits of joining this platform. The first thing that I found right off the bat is the organic reach is unmatched. Imagine how TikTok was at the very beginning stages. Like you could get organic reach. It's a little bit different now, but the thing about Thread is when you go on your feed, and I'm gonna probably keep putting the recording right here, a screen recording that I've gotten of Thread, but you'll find that there are a lot of new people on there that you may have never seen before. They're also gonna show people that you may already be following. They give you the option to actually transfer the people that you're already following on Instagram over to Thread, and that is amazing by itself. So you don't have to really worry about losing a bunch of followers. Obviously, it's gonna take some people some time to really hop on the platform. But I will say that as of today, because it rolled out yesterday, as of today, Thread has gotten over 30 million new downloads since launched. So they're getting a lot of people hopping over there. I have already been following new people that have popped up on my thread feed that I didn't know about that were posting some really good stuff. And I'm like, okay, let me be, let me go ahead and follow you too. So this is a great way for you to start getting some organic reach if you are looking to grow your audience. The second key benefit is that it's hot, it's new, it's trending. Everybody is talking about it. Everybody is trying to follow people on there. Everybody, like it is literally the big thing right now. Now, I don't know how long is going to be the big hot trending thing, but if you think about TikTok, like TikTok ran for a while with it being like the trendy new social media app. And I think TikTok has reached its peak now, but Thread has come into the game and now everybody is talking about Thread. So I'm very curious to see how Thread is gonna do once it kind of gets drops off that momentum. But when you think about Twitter, like if you like the type of platform it is, then I don't think that thread is going to like tank per se. I think that it's just going to kind of balance out. Everybody from Instagram is pretty much going to hop on thread and then we're just going to continue business as usual. Another key benefit, and I already kind of mentioned this before, is that you can convert your followers over to this platform. So one thing that I really, really like about thread specifically is how Meta incorporated Instagram and thread kind of like as an addition to each other. And what I mean by that is, like I mentioned earlier, it gives you the option to follow all of the people that you're already following on Instagram, even if they're not on the Thread app. So you may have people that are already requesting to follow you, even though you're not even on the app yet. And so then whenever you go ahead and create your account, you're going to already have followers already on your account that agreed to follow you from converting over to from Instagram. So I really, really love that aspect of how you can convert your current followers over to Thread. There's already a lot of people on Thread who are growing their audience 
from converting over their Instagram followers over to Thread. So you're not having to start at zero. I think that is the main thing. People are tired of starting at zero. Like they're tired of it. Even when you get these new apps like TikTok again, if you had a really big Instagram account, you couldn't just easily convert your Instagram following over to TikTok because they're two completely different apps by two different companies. But it's much easier for people to be like, yeah, if I, I follow you on Instagram, I'll go ahead and follow you over here too. It's so much easier and I love that about Thread so far. Another key benefit, and this is my personal favorite, and this is probably gonna be your personal favorite too, especially if you're a business owner or a content creator, you don't have to create reels, you don't have to create videos, you don't have to curate photos. This, I feel, is a game changer for social media because people are getting so tired of having to create all of this video content for all of these different platforms. They're getting tired of always having to curate a photo or post a story in order to engage with our audience. And Thread is really going to bring it home by the fact that written posts is what they are encouraging on this app. So if you love to write like me, I love writing written content. That is really like my preferred method of content other than YouTube videos. And so that's why I feel like I gravitate more so to Facebook because with Facebook, they encourage more of written posts on their platform. And so now being able to just drop a quick gem on Thread and then have someone easily reshare it, add their perspective, have the conversation go. You don't have to worry about, as far as right now, a whole bunch of bots in the comments and stuff. Like these are real people engaging in real time. Mwah. Just, I absolutely love it. So I think that this is really going to give content creators a break from having to create all of this video content because so many people were starting to burn out. Don't get me wrong, I think Reels are fine. I personally am not a big fan of Reels or like I love consuming TikToks, but Reels, mm, I don't really, they don't really translate for me. But I think that content creators really needed this break in the content creation world and Thread has delivered that for us. And then the last key benefit that I want to bring up is that it's chill, it's conversational. You feel a part of a community. And because it's so new, it's like everyone is kind of like the original OGs of Thread right now who's on there. If you hopped on last night or yesterday when it was launched, then you're like the very first people to get on the platform. And so it almost felt like a party. Like, hey girl, how you doing? You on here too, girl? Oh yeah. So I love that aspect and I also love the ability to have conversations with your community. So as you know, I'm growing my community right now and I've been looking for a platform where I can connect and nurture my current community without always having to create videos. So yeah, I have YouTube videos, but I really don't want to post stories all the time. I really don't want to create behind the scenes reels of what I'm doing every single day. So the only other way that I could really communicate and connect with you guys was by either curating a photo post and having, you know, my description at the bottom or create video. That was really the only way. And don't get me wrong, there's a place for video content, but being able to have another platform that kind of breaks up that monotony is what I feel we needed. And let's be real, people don't use Twitter like that. I mean, they're, they're the OG Twitter user. Like if you use Twitter, then you've probably always used Twitter. But I feel that if you didn't hop on Twitter back in the trending stages of Twitter, anytime you hopped on there, you just wasn't feeling it like that. I'm just like, mm, I, don't, I don't get it, you know? So this is like a fresh opportunity for you to have real conversations with your community start growing your community on a new platform and also nurture the community you already have that's converting over to this platform. Now, before I end this video, I wanna just quickly tell you something that you should know. They may give an update on this, but this is like word around the street based on some screenshots that people have seen on the terms of service or terms of conditions or whatever. So once you download Thread, apparently you cannot delete Thread without deleting your TikTok. Now, I don't know if this is like a miscommunication, but I'm gonna put the screenshot right here just in case. 
And hopefully Meta is going to come up with some type of post letting us know that it's separate. But even if it is together, I mean, who cares? Like, just think of it as an addition to the Instagram platform. Honestly, I don't, if you don't like Thread, just stop using it. You don't have to use it. You could just continue to use Instagram. And I don't think it will be a big deal. But as of right now, once you get on Thread, you lock in there. <laughs> You ain't no getting out, okay? So just keep that in mind before you actually create your account. And then the last thing that I want to mention that you should know is that when you create your post for Thread, you can also drop links. Now, you know, one thing that people do not like about Instagram is the fact that you can only use one link that's in your bio versus on Thread. You can put a link in all of your posts. So whatever you post on there, you can drop a link in the post you don't got to drop it in the comments you could drop it in the actual post and as of right now it doesn't show that there is a drop in reach when you use a link so just keep that in mind this is going to be really really great when you are marketing different things and you want to just give them the link this is also going to be good if you do like affiliate marketing or something like that and maybe you drop a photo and you're showing like this new thing because People gonna put photos on here. Like I, I see it coming. They're already kind of doing it a little bit. But if you are doing affiliate marketing in some type of way, imagine being able to drop your affiliate marketing links in the post. Okay, like come on. Like we winning over here. So I like the ability to be able to post videos and photos if I want to, but the platform does not make it necessarily a requirement in order for you to post. That's what I absolutely love about Thread. So I wanted to hop on here again real quick before I end this video because I wanted to also share the fact that on Thread, you can actually repurpose your content on Instagram. I don't know if I said this already, but you can actually, and I'll put, I'll put like a little screen recording right here. You can actually repurpose your written post that's on Thread and post them in your stories and you can post them in your as an Instagram post. And I absolutely love that because I know a lot of people utilize like Twitter posts on Instagram for like quote posts. So this gives you another way to kind of repurpose your content over from Thread over to Instagram. So I just wanted to say that, but go ahead back to your regular programming. I'm gonna start rambling because I gotta hop back on Thread and join the conversation. But you let me know, what are your thoughts on this new app? Have you already joined it? If you've already joined it, drop your Thread link in the comments so we can connect with each other. I will make sure to drop my link in the comment section below so that y'all can follow me. Okay, go ahead and follow me over there so we can chat. But until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.